we're going to be upgrading two of my uh, left turnout uh, manual switches to um, powered. And to do that, Kato comes out with a upgrade kit here, the 2-503, which replaces the, the, the physical uh, manual switch, allowing you to uh, uh, operate the switch. You're also gonna need, uh, in my case, I need two of their um, manual wall throws in order to um, have a switch going. And because I'm gonna be powering it with a old conventional, just normal accessory output, which happens to be AC, Kato power switches are DC, which is why, unless you're gonna connect them directly to Kato's uh, power, you're gonna need the uh, DC converter. So let's go ahead and jump right in and switch out the manuals to the powered. So the instructions are pretty straightforward. What you're doing is you're removing these two screws here. This separates, um, allowing you to then take the motorized power unit and just put it into its place. I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then show what it looks like. So now that I've got the two screws removed, you're essentially taking the physical, or physical, the manual the flip section ones, that slides away. And then the powered one just reconnects here. You line it up and you put the screws back on. And now you have a motorized uh, thrower that's then gonna operate the switch. So that was pretty straightforward. I was able to uh, remove the manual throw and then I was able to attach the motorized one. I still have the switch here so that I can flip it. But I'm gonna go ahead and connect the second one and then we'll get it wired up for power. All right, so I'm all wired up here. The instructions that came with the converter here pretty much do explain that this converts from the AC output from the um, normal transformer and it connects right on the side here of the switches and these are not going to be long enough for what I need so I'm going to be splicing but for the most part they do sell extensions for the people that need them and this is essentially what I was looking for so now I'm going to just connect it to my table I'm going to have to splice and make the uh, wires longer so that these will actually make it so outside we go all right, so here we go. These are the two switches that I upgraded to powered, which means that I can then um, have my trains go from uh, one line to another. And it's really helpful now that they're um, powered because my uh, power supply is over there across the table. So now I can sit there and um, with a flip of two switches, change one train from one track to another. And here is where I'm going to have the two uh, switches. Because I've got the power right there, um, I don't have too much play from the one wire, but essentially I'm going to get the two more throws to put between there and the side of the, of the uh, shelf here. That means that I will have four of them there. Two of them are controlling the two that I've already got there in the back by the quarry. And then in the near future, I'm gonna have these two right here in front of me converted from manual to throw, or manual to automatic. So now what I am able to do is I can take my one train on the outer rail there, flip two of those downward, and now when I then continue on, it'll transfer from the one track over to the other. Alrighty, please like and subscribe. I hope this uh, little video on how to take the Akato uh, manual switches and convert them to powered. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this right here so that the engine can get back on its outer rail as soon as it gets over here. There we go. Please like, subscribe.
Hope you like what I am uh, working on as I slowly upgrade this table. Take care and have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you.